In this exercise, I'll be building this simple spreadsheet which shows the projected increase in sales over a 10 year period for a company that sells a variety of different items and the increase is based on a specific percentage. And you can see that it is currently set at 5%. I can change that number either by typing in that cell or do what I've done which is include a drop down list so when the user changes the number all the numbers on the spreadsheet change to reflect their choice. The exercise uses a number of different techniques in Excel. Formatting, writing formulas that include percentages and also absolute cell references and building that simple drop-down list. OK, let's get started. Start off by writing my heading. I'm typing a, a starting value in this cell. I'm choosing the number 5. And in the next cell, the rest of my heading. And I'm going to format those two cells, bold and 14 point, just to make them a bit more prominent. Now I need my horizontal headings. The company sells DVDs. Blu-ray discs, CDs, games and books. And I also want a total here. For my vertical heading I'm going to say Year 1. Now watch my mouse pointer which is currently showing a white cross when I point it at that dot in the lower right hand corner of the cell, it changes to a black cross. I can now drag down the screen as far as I need and when I release the mouse, Excel writes those headings for me. Next I need my starting values for year one. 125,000 for DVDs, 75,000 for Blu-rays, 110,000 for CDs, 65,000 for games and 35,000 for books. I'm leaving the total column till later on. And now I need a formula. That formula needs to increase the value in the cell above it by a specific percentage. And that percentage is shown in this cell up here. And there are two ways to do percentages. You can either add a percentage, so you can take your original number plus a percentage of that number, or you can multiply by a percentage, and that's the one that I'm going to choose. So I need to increase that 125,000 by 105%. I'll show you the wrong way to do it first equals that cell multiplied by 100 plus now I'm not going to type 5% because obviously that 5 is going to change so I'll click on that cell B2 and percent now C5 multiplied by 100 and B2 percent it looks okay but when we press enter we get a number which is clearly quite wrong. And the reason for that is quite simple. I'll click on the cell again so that you can see the formula. When Excel calculates, it does any multiplying and dividing before it does any plussing and minusing. So what it's done is it's taken 125,000, it's multiplied by 100 and then added 5% which gave us the wrong answer. We want it to do this part of the calculation first, 100 plus 5, and then multiply that by C5 and percent. In order to do that, it's quite simple. We just put brackets around the bit that we want it to do first. Now when I press Enter, we get the correct value. Now what I would like to do is take that calculation 
and copy it down the sheet as I did with the headings but you'll see something goes wrong. When you copy a formula down a worksheet or across a worksheet Excel changes the cell references in the formula because very often that's what we want it to do. So if I click on the first cell here you'll see that it's multiplying C5 and also using B2. In the next cell though it's taking C6 which is what we want the next cell down and it's increasing it by a percentage that's reflected in cell B3 but over here B3 is an empty cell so although we want the first part of the formula to change we don't want the second part to change so we have to use another technique to stop that happening so I'll just delete these and start again to show you the way that I should have done it I start with an equal sign that value there multiplied by now I need to open my brackets 100 plus this cell and now I do something that stops that cell reference changing I'm going to press the F4 function key on my keyboard and watch that cell reference B2 dollar signs appear and those dollar signs I could have typed in they tell Excel you must not change this cell reference the first dollar sign says don't change the B the second dollar sign says don't change the 2 close the brackets add my percent and enter the result doesn't look any different but when I click on that cell and double click the dot that's the same as dragging it down you'll see that every value is increased by 5% over the one above it. Whilst that's still selected you'll notice that the selection has a black dot in its lower right hand corner. I can take that black dot and drag across the worksheet and let go. All those formulas have been written by Excel for me. So you've just got to do the first one right Excel will take care of everything else. Now I need to put in my totals. Now I could type equal sum but I'm going to get Excel to do it for me using the auto sum tool up here. Excel has automatically decided which were the cells to use and it's chosen correctly. I'll press enter, go back to that cell, double click that little black dot and those are my totals. Now for some formatting. All these values are currency and you can see they're very difficult to, to read as they are so if I select those cells click the currency button now with large values like this I'm not really interested in seeing the number of pence so I'm going to reduce the number of decimal places by two by clicking this button twice and that's rounded those values to zero decimal places bit more formatting I'm going to take my headings up at the top there and bold them and center them select these ones down here bold them I don't need to center those and I'm going to take my totals and I'm going to bold them and italic them finally to conclude this exercise I'm going to add a drop-down list to that cell where the percentage is represented. I need to have a sample of that list somewhere. Normally I'd hide it in a remote part of the sheet but I'm going to do it here so that you can see it. I'll type 1 in a cell, 1.5 in the next cell, then select both of those cells using this little dot again. I'm going to drag down as far as I need to. I'm going to take it to 10 so there's my reference list. To make that a drop down in the cell, click on the cell and I'm going to use something called data validation. On the data tab, go to data validation and in the dialog box you can see it currently says any value. 
click the down arrow and choose list it's asking me where to get its list from I'll cl click in the source box there and select my list and OK and now my drop down list has appeared here on my worksheet and I can choose different numbers and they are reflected on the spreadsheet. That concludes this exercise.